Hi everyone, grab your comfy pillows and let's get started on story time. Today we are going to read Time for Bed Mayuki. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest, ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. Gong. But where is Mayuki? Mayuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. Grandfather is still trying to get her to bed. Mayuki, it's time for bed. Not yet, Grandfather. Look, the sun hasn't set yet. And I still have so much to do. What do you have to do until tomorrow that cannot wait, Mayuki? Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the Dragonfly Queen, said Mayuki. She chose our garden to visit tomorrow, and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court? Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor their, her? There, under the cherry tree, Mayuki asked politely. All right, my Mayuki, and then it's off to bed for you. So Grandfather helped Mayuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Mayuki, it's time for bed. But Grandfather, I must water the vegetables. All right, Mayuki, sighed Grandfather. Water your vegetables, and then it's time for bed. Mayuki watered her carrots, turnips, radishes, and everything else she could reach. How many times did Mayuki go for the well, go from the well to the garden? Even Grandfather stopped counting. Mayuki, the canopy for the queen is complete, and your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bed. Grandfather, I can't sleep now, Mayuki cried. I must gather the whole snail family together. If they are not gathered together, I will not be able to sleep. So Grandfather helped Mayuki gather all the snails and lead them all home. Mayuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are all gathered. It's time for bed. But grandfather, I cannot stop now. It's a cold night and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. <laughs> Patiently, grandfather waited for my as Mayuki covered their cat with a warm blanket. Mayuki, the canopy queen, the queen, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, grandfather, we must dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for shining so nicely. So, grandfather and Mayuki danced. And then, oh, Mayuki yawned. Mayuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. 
The snails are gathered, the cat is covered, and we dance the last dance of the day. It's time for bed, Grandfather said warily. Mayuki's eyes were growing heavy, but there was still work to be done. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair. And what will the stars say if I'm not in my best pajamas when they visit? So Grandfather prepared Mayuki's bath brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. Then Mayuki yawned again, and Grandfather oh, yawned too. Mayuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered, the cat is covered. We danced the last dance of the day. You, ba you bathed and brushed and dressed. It's time for bed. This time, Mayuki didn't argue. She took Grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather tucked Mayuki into bed and kissed her on the forehead. Grandfather, she whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Mayuki, I have not forgotten. I will tell you a story. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions. And Toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds for the hour of rest. Where is my Yuki? I think my Yuki has fallen asleep. I loved reading that story with you. What do you like to do before bedtime? sounds very special. I like to wash my face and then I do some stretches and then I too just like my Yuki and her grandfather I like to read my story too. <laughs> okay bye everyone. Thank you for reading with me.